Hey guys, what's up? Um, wanted to give a quick update on I got the Everse 8 from Nitro Voice and I already have dismantled it. And I got the PCB motherboard here, so I'm um, trying to do the same mod as I did as uh, my Bose S1 Pro. And one of the issues that's happening is that if you see this DC power jack, you guys can see it. So this is actually a different size. This is a 5.6 measurement or millimeters measurement. Um, you see that little uh, point in the middle? That is 5.6. Now, what's universal across, you know, um, microphone devices or whatever external sources that use power sources, you know, with DC, at least, you know, different milliamps is 5.5. So I'll put in the description below on where to get the correct adapters, but this is the adapters here. So this is this one. So this is actually a 5.5. So what I'm doing is I'm not necessarily changing that one out. <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm adding this one to it and I'm running cables, as you can see here. So I'm running the middle one is positive and then the outside one it is a neutral and a ground. So those um, are gonna be soldered into the back. As you can see, there's three points. And I'll show you here once I get that uh, figured out. Uh, or not figured out, <laughs> soldered together so that you guys can see what it looks like. I've already tested everything. I made sure to run everything with a voltage meter and uh, get the right uh, readings for it. But I'm gonna show you in the next video um, how these are connected but basically just solder them together just for the reason that the cables that are required for this are much more easier to buy what i think um what ev is doing is they're trying to control that market so they can sell you one of these cables for whatever price they want but with you know the the inside part being a 5.6 millimeter it's going to be the same voltage no matter what um a little, it's going to be a 500 milliamp that's running through there so uh, there's not going to be a big issue with that so uh, doing this at least mod or whatever so you can see these cables you can find on amazon just pretty much anywhere they're real available um, to buy just just about anywhere and i have a few from the last mod that i did with the bose s1 pro um, this just makes it easier and available uh, they don't have at least that i've seen that cable available to do the e uh, if you want to add an external mic or whatever to the you know the e so i plan on using this one now for my ceremonies uh, just to make it more easier i don't know i like the app and everything so i like to update my stuff here every once in a year or every couple years <clears throat> um so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this up so i'm gonna just put tape around this just to make sure it stays together i gotta screw it in the hole so what i did in the hole is i made it bigger to be able to uh, have this fit in there because this is actually much bigger and what i'm gonna do with with this one is it goes plugged in there i'm just gonna leave it off to the side somewhere and the cables are gonna be coming off from there you know wiring into the uh the little dc jack so um Give me a few seconds here and I'll show you what uh, what I need to do. But I'm going to go ahead and solder. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do it with, you know, with one hand. So I need both hands. Uh, I don't need the explanation to, you know, dismantle everything. It's pretty much, pretty basic to take this apart. So it doesn't require that much. So the only thing that I did notice is that when you're, you're trying to uh, get into some of these cables, you have to pop off that plastic grommet just to get in there i have it somewhere around here Ooh, if i can find it i don't know what i did with it <laughs> i'll find it here and i'll show you guys all right i'll be back as you can see here i got it made the hole big enough to fit one of these and i'm just gonna screw this in tight and then Ooh, i can get it <laughs> it's hard to do with one hand And, you know, I kind of, I did forget to add the, um, there is like a little plastic thing that it comes with. So you can plug it so the water doesn't get in there. But this has that cover 
you know that one cover that goes around it so I'm not too worried about it um, but yeah that comes included Are these parts in this one? So I'll be back with more. All right, so this is what it looks like. So we got the positive going in the middle, which is the middle wire, uh, the one that goes in the middle. So I kept track of the cable. So if you see it from the barrel there, that's the positive, the middle one, and then both um, ground and neutral go into the outer, outer one. So could have cut this and made it smaller if you could just leave it that's the way it is so that's how you connect it and I've already tested it just to make sure my soldering skills are okay but as long as I got solid collection connection it should be good so I'm just gonna tuck away this somewhere maybe even tape it around and we got some black tape over here and see if we just uh, wire manage this little area so that I can put that back on to the top. Alright, so I got everything there hooked up and I put a bunch of tape around there. Fix it. I just wanted to get a overall kind of look to see. I'll probably put some foam or something. But it's I'm trying to avoid it so that it rattles when the speaker's on. So I'll probably put some foam or something. But to protect the contacts, it's there. So yep. And this is that cable I was talking about. So this is that grommet piece you can pull out from that hole right there. So that just goes into there and it plugs into the battery. Um, because this is short, so it's hard to take off. It's hard to separate this from this metal enclosure. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put everything back together just show you how it works here's a tip um this kind of makes it hard to work with sometimes so there is a plug in there that's a plug in for the battery so i'll just show you that you can disconnect this i can get my hand in there and get it, down. And get it out it just makes it easier to work to manage all of this so, here we have speaker ports, I believe this is the top and subwoofer. I think this is the LED. And this must be the Bluetooth antenna. So I'm gonna hook everything back up and show you how it goes back in already. So I got everything plugged in. You can see the back cable there. The one on top. The Bluetooth antenna, which is that one. And then there's another one back that loose one. We just got that loose grommet now. Here you can see it. And it's basically gonna push everything back. And there's a screw right here that holds it together. So so there it is. You just I went with it back and forth. And it's back on. And there's a screw there. So I'll put on that screw and then make sure to remember to plug the battery in. Alright, so I got the screw in there. I'm gonna put that thing back. And I got the power cable hooked up to the battery, so just putting it back in. So I can't do it with my hand, so I'll be better, right? So there it is. I haven't put on the screws yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in here. It's already plugged in that in. Just turn it on. It's not turning on, it's because the battery's loose. <laughs> so, there's the battery. I kind of did that just to do it. Um, so I'm not struggling oh, opening or flipping the speaker over. I just push it down because there's screws that you can use to keep it secure, but there it is. So now I just gotta test it with the mic. Uh, I'm gonna hook up the XLR to it and we'll see how it's right. hiding. So here is this cheap old Amazon mic that I got. Let's turn it on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I got it really low because 
my wife's trying to sleep, so. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. So it's just hooking up an XLR there, and then power there, and it's truly uh, portable. I just gotta test to see how much the battery's gonna last. Um, yeah, and just gotta put the screws back on and all that. I'll put the correct screw sizes on the description box, just so you guys know. There's two different sizes. Um, it's pretty easy. This will come off if you pry it off, just carefully. It's not, it's not glued onto, to it. Uh, one thing that I have not tried yet is I disconnect the battery. I disconnected the battery. I'm gonna hook up the wall cord. Watch it explode. So there's that. Battery's disconnected. That's on. Let's hook this up. Man, that's loud. Oops. That's my fault. Yep. Let's test the mic. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. If you got sound. batteries hooked up and if we decided just to run one power cable and pass through the audio gonna tighten this a bit then looks good all right if you guys have questions please let me know in the comments i will post links to this cable this uh barrel jack um along with what else did i need to do uh, I think that's pretty much it. You need some soldering tools as well to do that. And I kind of did everything backwards, so. Um, yeah, just turn it off. Oh, yeah, the correct size sizes of the screws that you need. So yeah, cool. There's a little plug in there. And now this speaker is ready for ceremonies and all that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.